Hello guys, welcome back to Solar Motion VFX for another quick tutorial. This one uh, we're gonna do a little uh, car burning. Uh, this one is be a really cool one, but it's gonna be a short one just so we can get you guys going and making some really cool burning cars or buses or whatever you want, even for buildings. Let's take a quick look how it will look like. So as you see, like the setup's pretty simple. We use a car here, and look how how the fluid interacts with the with the car we use it as an object so we have an object source which is the car and then we have two sources one inside the car one below the car and look how the smoke just rises up and interacts with the car so pretty cool setup so let's just jump into okay guys so here we are inside our cinema 4d we have a basic scene here with a, a car just a free model you can download from the internet then we have a film face grid and our two light sources and then um, what I want to show you here is what we're going to use as fuel for our burning effect is the two cubes. I have one placed inside the car and one below the car. And uh, these are these sources. I need them sources. And uh, we can uh, basically just hide those like so. <clears throat> okay, so let's start making this setup. The reason why I make the grid long on the left side is because we want a wind force here, which is going to drive the smoke uh, to the left. So let's uh, add in a wind force and let's let's rotate it like so and move it over here. And let's bring in an object source. And for the object source, we want to take these two fuel sources, our two cubes, source one and source. And we want to make the type as a volume. And we really want some smoke here. So for the temperature, 400 for the temperature. And for the smoke, let's save 3.5, like so. And that should be it for this setup. Then in the fume fix, the object source, let's bring in the object source. Let's bring in the wind. And because we want the smoke and the fire to interact with the car so it burns around the car. We need to make sure that our oil truck here, the car itself, you can see if I hide this, this is actually the car or the truck. This one needs to have a film fix tag on it. So film fix, collision object and make it a solid. And then we go back to film fix, bring in our truck. So there we have the basic setup. So we have the wind, and let's go into the wind and give it a value of 3, turbulence 0.5, that should be good for now. And the two light sources, make sure they are ray trace hard, both of them. And in the illumination, they are in here, and make sure the multiple scattering is on as well. And then drill down the use multiple scattering tab. And then for the smoke, set it to 5, and the fall off, set that to 60. And we can leave the rest as default. Maybe the step size actually bumped it up to 120. For the rendering, let's go into the, make some color here. So just the same colors for setup I always use. Orange or black, and the middle we do a red, red sauce here. Let's see. And then some yellowish over here. That's good. And for the smoke, almost a black one. And for the opacity, we want really high, 20. We really want to see that smoke. For the general tab, make sure you have the same frame <coughs> frames numbers as you have on your timeline and make sure you have a default uh, path for your saving, for your cache. And let's go into the sim. So for the quality, bump that up. Time scale. We don't want it to go to that fast, so I actually want to load a little bit. So 190. Gravity, leave that as it is. Vorticity, bring that up. X turbulence, we just want to have a little subtle effect. So like 0.03. For the scale, we can actually bump that up 35, detail levels 
five block inside negative y but it's gonna rise up so it should not be interacting with the floor and speaking of that go into the general tab again and for the boundless make sure that if the smoke rises above this grid it doesn't get cut off so for the y set plus y okay so let's see for the temperature here burn rate up fire creates smoke and let's see 30 here for the smoke density expansion 1.3 heat production let's do 12 and let's try the burn rate as it is so let's try to do a quick sim here this is a low risk right now remember that it's only it's only 511 megabytes okay so let's take a quick stop here and make a quick render and see what we got I definitely like the thickness here so now we can actually raise increase the spacing a bit and also make a quick change to the burn rate let's lower it down to 10 and let's see here go up to this spacing and general tab we increase the spacing just so we have a little bit more detail all right let's take a quick semi-final render before we do the final increasing let's see what we got oh yeah and let's actually add in another light bring that up From the top view yes and it does interact with the car let's look from the side here so we have the source down here yeah that definitely looks good so we are ready for the final render so what you would do, go down to the film fix, simulate uh, general tab and 0.2. And this will be the final final sim. So uh, let it sim out here and then you'll get this nine effect. And uh, just to make a quick final look at what we will be aiming to have here. You go inside here and after thing or your favorite compositing of choice and then you go in of course and you can add a glow effect maybe some some curves like to actually put in a curves right now to add some more detail here like so yeah i really like the how fluid it is i mean this is a big difference between the, the film effects and uh, turbulence fd look at the fluid like effect here you can slow it down with the with the time scale in here in after effect or you can do you can even lower the time scale inside cinema 40 even further but this is the effect you will go for so really cool burning effect of the car thank you for watching guys and see you next time for another quick tutorial see you